Hello, my name is Dennis Ward. I'm founder of the, the Green Tracking Service. And what I would like to show you today is how we put one of our recyclable trackers into uh, some covered electronic waste, as in California we call the chew, right? So we want to put it into this uh, uh, Sony Trinitron television, this old television, and um, we're going to send it downstream. And over here in California tomorrow, we're going to... Uh, uh, we're having a, there's an EUH drive, a bank called, uh, it's actually a credit union, and a credit union is uh, Tech Credit Union, it's an excellent organization, they're having an EUH drive, and they, uh, they have been, uh, they have partnered with a, a recycling firm, the Evergreen E-Waste uh, Company, and we're going to see what happens to this, uh, this chew going into the uh, e-waste stream. But really what I would like to do first of all is to show you how we plan one of our trackers in, into this device. So what I'll do is flip it over and fortunately early on I took out the screws and it was nice that um, Sony actually put, put uh, arrows in the areas where the screws were so it made it very easy to, to open up. It's quite ergonomic. So it just comes off the plastic. What we want to do is we want to plant it in here so it can be um, easy to, to track. Now, one thing we want to do with a tracker, and uh, what, what we want to emphasize is that the tracker here <clears throat> is recyclable. It has uh, alkaline batteries in there so you know, it won't blow up or, or anything like that. It's no lithium ion. But one important thing is it's a GPS tracker and uses GSM as well. And, um, but like any GPS, if it gets inside, you know, we want to give it the best opportunity so it can radiate, so it can actually send it, receive the GPS signals and GSM could actually send it to the base station and such. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut a hole in here just to make sure that uh, we actually can, uh, this tracker can actually radiate. But now this tracker is interesting. We do have a, a, a magnet, a strong magnet in here. So what I want to do, if you notice here's the, the focus materials or the ha where the hazardous material is, of course, inside the lead and such, inside the, the monitor. What I want to do is uh, set this as close to that area as possible. So there's some metal around it. You notice I can fit it there. It's pretty tight, but it can radiate as well. And so, what we do here is, uh, what I did earlier, is to make a hole, if you notice, in the top of the television. Uh, so it can actually get out if, you know, if any obstruction or whatever, because it's going to be inside some kind of uh, bin anyway, or some kind of Gaylord. So we want to give it the best chance. And, you know, this, I used a saw like this. So you, you may have, to be more sophisticated, you can use a Dremel tool or what have, it, have you to make the hole. So what I did was do that, and now we're going to put this back on to the television, like so. And if you notice there, the, uh, the track is showing a little bit, which is fine. It's still, still covered, so it's still surreptitious. Can't really see it. And now what I'll do is I'll put a couple of screws back in and send it off. Okay, thank you. This is Dennis Ward from the Green Tracking Service, and uh, talk to you soon.